Okay, so 28. Again, it's a binomial square. You cannot just distribute that square. Now, if there were no plus sign in there, then yes, you would distribute that power. But that plus means it's a binomial, so you've got to uh, write it out twice and multiply it by itself. And I'm kind of out of room, so I'm just going to rewrite it this way. I'll mark it out and go from there. Okay? So when we multiply this one, negative 4k squared times negative 4k squared is positive 16k to the fourth. The outside gives us negative 12k squared. The inside's going to give us the exact same thing, so that's going to give us negative 24k squared in the middle. And 3 times 3 is positive 9. Okay, so these are perfect squared trinomials. You should be able to recognize those when you see them. All right, let's throw two variables in there since that's what we've been doing today, kicking everything up a notch. All right, so negative y times negative y is positive y squared. Our outside is going to give us positive 8xy. The inside is going to give us positive 8xy, and the last is going to give us positive 64x squared. So final answer. Uh, now when you start mixing, the, and I don't know why I have another equal sign right there. When you start mixing the variables, there's not really, and we saw this earlier um, when Jenna asked that question, there's not really a standard form, so to speak, when you start mixing variables. Um, and I'm not going to get bent out of shape if you put this x squared first with the x coming before y and then put the y squared last. Um, I'm just going to leave it that way because of the original way the problem was written. The original problem had y before x, so I'm just going to leave my answer like that. Um, and a similar thing with like number 24. Okay, number 24. Typically, we would write that with the x squared first, um, but I'm just going to leave it in that form because of the way that the original problem was set up. Okay. Now, I, I don't care either way on line number 24. If you want to write that in standard form, that's fine. Um, but I'm also fine with leaving 24 the way that it was written. Okay. <clears throat> Last one, number 30. What are we going to get? Let's see here. Positive 49x to the fourth. Our outside and inside are both going to give us positive 21. So when we put them together, we're going to get positive 42x squared y plus 9y squared. Now, I do not want you to feel at all like you need to do that all in your head, okay? I'm perfectly fine. I would rather you write it out, write it twice, do all the work, and then combine the like terms. I'd rather you do that and get the answer correct than try and do it in your head and mess something up. Okay? <coughs> so, 